Good afternoon, it's September the 24th, and as promised, I'm going to do a, a quick tour around Sask Expo Regina, our local Comic-Con style convention. This is my booth over here, you can see all my uh, books. We're gonna, I'm just gonna do what I can uh, to do a walk around here. So basically, just up and down the aisles. Give you a hint of what this is like, the usual kinds of uh, exhibits and memorabilia, collectibles, all that stuff. I think I'll start in the other room because I haven't really been in the other room yet. This is the main entrance, everybody's coming in. We'll go up and down the aisles here. Collectibles. There's a difference of opinion on spelling collectibles, I see. Clearly it should be, it should actually be collect tables. I just looked it up. Collect tables. There's also artists. Collectibles with an I is actually um, what you use for like bills that are collectible. I just looked that up because I wasn't sure. Now I know. This is the gaming area up here, I think. Star Wars over there. some sort of, uh, oh, and this is the panel area, so don't know what the next panel is, but it will take place there. Oops, sorry. Rocks over here. Comic books, of course, always an important part. A lot of anime stuff as well. Comic Readers is our local comic store. Knives. It looks like it's There's a few empty booths, but not a lot. It seems much busier than last year. T-shirts, of course, always popular. Toys, games, collectible figures. Oh. Sask Esports. Again, this is the panel section. More artwork. More comic books. More artwork. I'm doing good. As you can see, I'm at the Sask Expo Comic Con convention. A lot more people than I normally show on this, these things. Some bobbleheads there. Here's the swords down at this end of the table. More anime. All right. Now we will go back into the room I was just in and work our way around it. Then I got to get back to my table, which is being uh, 
watched, but uh, I don't want to stay away too long because you lose sales if you do that. We're in the Viterra Convention Center here, trade show center. All right, we'll start up this way first and work our way back. I think we'll just go down to the end and then work our way back through the uh, aisles. Oh, I know. More comic books there. Food up here, although I haven't tried to get any. My wife brought me a sandwich, so more swords. Recruiting. To join the Canadian Armed Forces. You can do that here. This is the lineup for the food, so you have to really want it. Taco in a bag, I must admit. I kind of enjoy a taco in a bag. But... There's a lot of uh, cosplay stuff that's going on as well, of course. There's even a car over there. We'll work our way back this way. It's all very colorful, you have to admit. And a lightsaber there. More art. Games. Oh, Black Dog Art Supply. My daughter buys art supplies there. T-shirts. More T-shirts. And a variety of other things. Oh, that's cool. I'll take a look at the A whole wall of... And back to my table. Collectibles, always collectibles. This is Artist Alley over here, so there's a lot of artists over here. I've been looking at that caravan sign without really knowing what it is, but they seem to be local, so. Moose Jaw Comics and Collectibles. Bad Guy Comics. We'll, we'll get over to the artist side over here in a minute. Any figures? Some of these places I see at every one of these I do, but some of them are unique to this one. Any figures? Art? Actual soldiers, not wearing costumes. I don't quite know what's going on here, but... We'll work our way back through Artist Alley, and that will be it. I just want to sign up for my year. Yeah, me too. Saskatchewan Lego Users Group. Presumably that picture of Buffy. Oh, there's the car. <laughs> picture of Buffy was made with Lego, so... But... Lego, Lego, Lego. Lego, my ego. All Lego. Oh, costume repair. That's always a place to get some work. Kid Remington, Crowbar Radio. I have no idea. There's the Joker. <laughs> we'll go back up the uh, alley here. Cursed Rabbit Comics. Got glassware over here. Oh, 
bok choy, the questionable art of bok choy, it said. There, fighter. Critical relics, that one's called. One of my authors is supposed to be here. I haven't seen him, though. Todd Zumek. It was not worth it. So we come back by the minifigure stand again. Sabastic enamel pins. Art by David Tuff. More art. More art. Luna Jewel. This couple of actual books. It's like chainmail creations here. I've seen him with his Saskatchewan Rough Rider chainmail before. Doomed Romance Comics. You should know what you're getting, I guess. Yep, here we go. This is Todd. Um, he's not here at the moment, but Band of Brotherhood, I recommend. Uh, I would. I published it. It's a Western. But out through my endless sky books. Almost done. We'll go up this aisle. And then we will have covered the whole thing. Caricatures. Artists signing over here. And then we go past this poster store. There's some crocheted things over there and a few more. And we're back at Edward Willett. There we are. That's my booth. So, that's it. Short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. That's a look at Sask Expo Regina. And if you're around Regina, uh, it runs today until 6 and tomorrow from 10 to 5. And I will be right here. Happy to meet you. I've met a couple of people who've watched these videos today. And happy to sell you books too, of course. So, that's it for now. Goodbye.